Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching Inside Edition today. This is a season during which we all hope for miracles. And for some very sick people, miracles are all that's left. So when a dairy farmer said he might have a miracle cure-all, many flocked to his gates. But the authorities are skeptical. That story a bit later on, but first. The signs are all there. Suddenly, your maid is working late every night. She's doing double time at the health club, or his taste in clothing has vastly improved. You suspect cheating, but how can you tell for sure? Scott Rappaport with our story. I'm a married woman. Finding out your spouse is cheating doesn't always bring out the best in some of us. Joan Crawford was more than a bit upset finding her husband in bed with another woman in straitjacket. And that innocent dinner with Glenn Close got Michael Douglas in big trouble in Fatal Attraction. Others are a bit calmer, but still, there's got to be a better way to find out if the one you love is loving someone else. Private investigators Jerry Pallas and Tim Bartlett do just that. The former New York City police officers run Checkamate, a business that finds out what you've long suspected, but didn't really want to know. If you have a problem with your uh, husband or your uh, wife or girlfriend, boyfriend, we'll go out there and find out the answers that you suspect there may be a problem. We're going to go find out and get you the answers. Now, most of the clients are women who want answers, but nailing cheaters can be tough. Surveillance is one way, but in a crowded city like New York, where it's easy to lose someone, that can get pretty expensive, as much as $1,000 a day. <laughs> the less expensive way is to hire a decoy like Lisa, who's sent out to have a chance encounter with the suspected spouse. I'd say about 80% are cheating. The odds are so stacked against them that by the time the, the mate comes to hire us, you know, there definitely is something going on. We sit down with our client, and we ask a lot about her mate, what he does for a living, what his hobbies are, what he does after work, and we try to set up a chance encounter where it's the best time to have our decoy be at a certain location so she can bump into him. When he leaves home, he's always wearing his wedding band. In addition, the wearing. decoy carries a tape recorder and records the entire meeting, so there's no mistaking what took place. Isn't this entrapment? No, it's not entrapment for the simple reason. First of all, entrapment is a legal term. This has nothing to do with legalities. This is the person making, he's predisposed to fooling around. He's making the first move. We don't go over there and say, hi, honey, come on out. You want to go out? Wait a second. You admittedly send in good-looking women with the express purpose of attracting a man's attention. Isn't that just like dangling bait in front of him and saying, go ahead, reach out, take it? You're really happily married, you're in a good relationship, you're not going to do it. It's that simple. It's Adam and Eve stuff. Go for the apple. You want to take a bite, pal? Go take a bite but you're going to pay the consequences. And pay they do. This woman suspected her husband of cheating. She hired Checkmate and found out her instincts were exactly right. He told her that he was separated and he wasn't happy in his relationship. He was going through a separation right now. Um, and he asked her if she was single and maybe if they can get together and maybe have dinner again. I mean, the no woman has since of... divorced her husband, no, not at all. He told but he she separated. remembers vividly her reaction to that Terrible. tape. I was very upset about it. I just went crazy. I couldn't believe that he could lie to someone like that. I said, imagine if, what he's really doing then if he could just lie to a woman he just met. Lisa says most men do flat out lie. But on the night we went out with her, she found an honest cheater. I'm married to it's going on 10 years. 10? Wow. My wife is married 10 years. This man's wife has long suspected him of having affairs. He likes to, quote, unwind on Wednesday nights. When I go into this, I just, I just hope and pray. It's like, please, don't, don't ask me out. Please don't be a heel. Why don't we have lunch with him? Soon lunch is turned into a Broadway play and possibly more. Instead of just lunch, why don't we do this? Why don't... I get tickets to a Broadway play. What happens next is up to the wife. After she hears the tape conversation, she may want the decoy to see her husband again. We had one uh, decoy uh, meet a guy. Uh, he called up and asked her for a date. And she went along. She met him at a restaurant. And the wife had all his clothes delivered to the restaurant. Another one went to a third date where she met him in a hotel room. She was there waiting for him. The wife wanted to be in the hotel room. The decoy gave her the key. and She was upstairs waiting for him when the husband came up. And that turned into a homicide. No, this <laughs> turned into a very legal separation. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, so did this. Mr. Wednesday Night's wife has filed for a divorce. Lisa thinks experiences like this should be fair warning to all. I tell people, it's like, you know, gentlemen, the next good-looking woman that you ask out, or ladies, the next, you know, good-looking businessman that you ask out may be the very decoy your mate hired to trap you, so. 
to catch you at it. So, but I said, if you're not doing anything wrong, you don't have anything to worry about.